Welcome back, everybody. I'm Crane Bramp, you're all Brainiacs, and this is episode five of our season one Night of the Dead playthrough. It is Horde this episode, and we have got a lot to do to get ready. Also, I wanted to note that last episode, I did not show you the loot that I got out of the hotel. I apologize for that. I have not put it up yet. Here is everything that we got. This was an absolutely epic, epic, epic haul right here. So we got 406 research data, 64 pieces of iron, lumber, planks, uh, over 50 iron ingots, 31 iron plates, 33, well, 23 rebar, 38 plastic. I mean, it was just an insane run. 28 energy bars. So we've got a ton of stuff to try to do today. I don't think we even have room for all of this. So I'm gonna go on and put what I can up and then I will be right back with you. All right, so I have put up everything that I can, basically. We've still got a ton of stuff on us. I wanna keep a couple of stacks of ammo. This is what we've got left. And then finally, here's everything that we have. Feel free to pause. Also, where are my research notes? They are right here. So we have got 792 research, which is just an amazing amount of research. So there are a number of things I wanna get. Uh, we're gonna go on and get senior engineer. We need polymer chemicals. I think we already have that, we do. So let's go on and get that. That opens up uh, electronic devices, fuses and cells. Let's go on and get Junior Chemist, Blacksmith. We'll grab Recruit for uh, Range Damage plus two. We'll grab Novice Guard, a bunch of this smaller stuff, uh, which gives us damage taken minus five. Uh, and then we're gonna grab Jogger, which is Movement Speed plus eight. Novice Boxer, which is Evasion plus 15. Animal Hunter, damage to animals, plus 10%. Zombie Hunter, which is obviously... Uh, oh, we need the Confucius book. Do we have the Confucius book? We do not, so we will not be getting Zombie Hunter. All right, let me look through here and find out what else we want to grab. All right, so we're going to grab uh, junior, wood, uh, junior Builder, which is negative 20% uh, that we need for... Uh, wooden buildings, and then we're going to grab Builder, which is negative 20% for stone. Uh, then we're going to grab Senior, which is 20% uh, for iron. We're going to go on and grab Veteran Porter, which gives us another 12 inventory slots. And if we've got enough, I'm going to grab Novice Scavenger to get that 15% uh, scavenge boost. The whole, the whole idea here is just to make, try to make everything quicker. Let's grab our seeds. Do we have any? Yes, we do. So, oh, a rabbit. Just what we needed. I don't see anything over there stuck in our... Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. We don't have large traps yet. Well, you know what? What time is it? It's 6 o'clock. All right, so let's grab the stuff and let's do some more small traps and some more large traps. Why did I not get that? Oh, we caught one just as I just as I went to leave. And look at that. Look at that. There's a zombie bag over there that I didn't get. There was so much loot yesterday that uh that I just got <laughs> forgot to get it all. So we're gonna grab our stuff. We're gonna make try to make six more of these and maybe two or three of the others. We have four small cuts of meat, so that right there will probably do it. We can do four. It takes a cut of meat per uh large trap so let's take a look and see what we need i believe that all we need for the basic traps is large stones so large stone branches and leaves we're going to need a lot of leaves and then iron ingots so uh grab a few stacks of that we'll grab some branches um what else was it all right, I think we have everything that we need. The biggest thing is leaves. There's like 20 leaves per, so per trap, regardless of the size. So let's go on and make six of these. All 
And then six of these mid-size animal traps. I did have to go make some more gears, but it's seed, small meat, gear, ironing it, copper wire, and of course, leaves. Note that these animals that are caught over here give small meat. It takes uh, seeds to refill this. To refill these larger traps, it takes a piece of small meat. That's why you want a bunch of these. And then a seed. So let's go on and get some of these out. All right, ground was a little funky over here, but I managed to get six of them out. Uh, that was a lot of resources, but anyway, let's put everything up and then let's start working on the base. All right, so that is everything. Eventually, like I said, my goal, uh, the reason I ended up putting those traps right there instead of in the corner is because I do want to build out our base and build a multi-layer crafting base over there. Tonight, however, we need to worry about this. And... The, the eventual goal here is that I'd like to run these in a zigzag pattern going this way instead of out this way. But obviously that's not going to work tonight. So let's grab our hammer. Let's deconstruct. Oh, also while I was out here messing around, a couple of aggro zombies came and really wasn't that big of a deal. But let's go on and uh oh you know what we're going to need materials for this so let's go on and grab uh we're gonna need probably no no not demolish <laughs> if you've got it in your hand that's always a bad thing so give me that give me branches give me logs just in case give me some vines uh we're probably gonna need concrete I would probably bet that we're gonna need brick and trim stone additionally, and we'll come out here and get some other stuff if we need it. But I think that should take care of our primary stuff. So what I wanna do is I wanna deconstruct these stairs. I wanna make this, I wanna extend this out a little bit so that we can, um, Sorry to interrupt. The one thing that we needed was some small stones to be able to repair this so that we can actually um, destroy it. So I think what I'm going to do is create... I would like to put a couple of... Uh, I forget what they're called. Grinders? Uh, shredders out here. So that means we're going to need a foundation. We're actually going to need several of them. So we're going to need... Uh, uh, one right there. Uh, the shredders, I believe, are too long. And then I wouldn't mind having another cutter up there. So there's that. Let's go on and make a pair of stairs. And then let's go on and upgrade these to concrete. All right, those are upgraded. Now we're going to need two trap engines. Well, three trap engines and everything that we're gonna need to make these traps. So let's take a look real quick and see what it's actually gonna take before we do this. So we're gonna need iron ingots and rope and iron ingots and rope. That's not a big deal. So we've got our trap machines made, which means that now we should be able to make our traps. So now two of these shredders with a little bit of work will fit on here so i will unsnap them one will go right there all right so i had to demolish that i got to thinking about it if i put them snug up to this this is actually going to block them going that way i really hate to waste material like that but Go on and get this as far out as we can. So that one goes right there. You're going to have to turn off snapping to make this work right. All right. And then finally, um, you know what? These cutters have been working so well. I think, let me go on and put snapping back on. That We'll just do another one. So they're going to come up the stairs. They're going to come through these two. They're going to go through these two cutters. And then they have to run the gauntlet. And because it's horizontal like that, then I can also fire at them while they're doing that. 
All right, so uh, it's nine o'clock, which is not bad. So let's go on and start working on our foundations and stuff over here. I'm also grabbing these rabbits while we're at it. So I'm thinking, oh, come on, man. Do I not have enough? See, you got to carry so much stuff in your inventory to be able to craft in this game. It is absolutely ridiculous. Got to make sure I don't have my hammer in my hand. It's absolutely ridiculous. Look how, much, look, look how much stuff I've got in my inventory right now because I've been over there building stuff. So let's do that. We got another little bunny rabbit that came over here and got caught in our trap. Let's go on and reload that. Do I have anything over there yet? Doesn't look like it. Go on and take this. Another thing that we need processed leather for is it takes six, count them, six processed leather to do um, just one tier three chest upgrade. I mean, I understand it's tier three and all that stuff, but still, that's pretty dang expensive. So, all right. Uh, obviously, we can't get like too close to this right here. Uh, so I'm going to want this. I believe that ought to do it. So that's one, two, three, and four. All right, that looks pretty good right there. That is a, a three by three, which gives us nine. Let's go on and put some walls on this thing so that they're already up. I do want window walls so that I can actually see out of this thing. And then we are just going to walk this right on around. I'm going to put a door right there so that I can actually get out. So the idea is going to be is that we go outside of the base and then walk along the top of the wall to get over to our actual horde base. That way we don't have an issue. We're going to put stairs right there. So there's going to be another door. Oh my goodness, I didn't even notice, but th this wall can't go here. Oh man, I cannot believe I managed to do that. Well, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not going to tear it all down right now. Uh, so the door wall, we need some iron plates. All right, and there is our new base. We're going to need to... Ah, man, having the hammer in your hand is just a just a bad time. We're still going to need to move some of these uh, workbenches. And this right here, I am just like, I am so upset at that. I cannot tell you how upset I am at that. So anyway, let's go on and get some of these up. We're also going to need to have some, uh, some, uh, I believe they're called just posts but anyway we're gonna need some supports in here columns my brain is not working today so we'll put that there what did we run out of we ran out of rope of course there i just made 99 rope that way we, <laughs> that way we don't have to worry about that anymore so if you want to go more than two wide, you're going to need columns. Actually, even if you go two wide, you're going to need columns to be able to support this stuff. So we're going to go on and put these in. Then we are going to get our foundations again. Or excuse me, our floors. Has to be supported. Every, every floor has to be supported at all sides. So what did we run out of again? We ran out of planks. Let me grab some of those. All right, there we go. I had to demolish one of the floors, but there is the beginning of our level, our two level base. Oh, some of the, oh, these workbenches are all upgraded, which is just going to be a pain in the butt. Um,. So let me go on. What time is it? It's 22. Let's go on and move a few of them.
All right, so there are six chests already upgraded. These have been moved up here. These two have been upgraded all of the way. We'll move this and we'll probably, we can probably do a research bench now. Research benches aren't upgraded. And in fact, you know what? We can just do one uh, down here. Uh, we'll just put it right there. We'll go over here and demolish this. And we are almost, almost ready for Horde Night. I do want to go around and check and see if anything needs to be upgraded or repaired while I'm at it. I mean, uh, repaired. So let's repair that one. Let's repair that one. Make sure all of these are reloaded. No, no, no. Are to reload. You're fine. All of these are fine. None of these look like they need repairing or anything. All right, so we're doing pretty good. It is 2,300, I think. Oh, hi there. How you doing? You're going to test out my traps for me? I appreciate it. Oh, that was nasty. But the other one didn't... The other one didn't fire. Hmm. I wonder if I need to make them closer. I'm kind of worried about making them closer, that they'll actually be too close and the zombies won't be able to come through. I, I kind of feel like this is going to be okay. We're just going to have to see how it works for tonight. I mean, we have the gun if anything goes wrong. So let's go on and put everything up and I will be right back with you. And then it will be time for the horde. All right, boys and girls, here they come. I can see them running right over there and it looks like it is a pretty good sized horde. Come on, boys and girls. I have something for y'all to try out. Let's see how our shredders work tonight. Oh, that's it. That's it. Just get ground up. Be ground zombie meat. Look at that. They're not even making it through the first set of traps. Maybe my base is a little bit overkill, but, you know, I'd rather it be overkill than end up having an issue, so... Come on, boys and girls. Come on. I need some target practice while we're at it. I think right here will be a good spot for some target practice. Looks like we got plenty of spitters tonight. Well, y'all are just getting racked up in those shredders. Both of them are running. So one may not trigger both of them, but definitely when you get a group of them in there, both of them are just grinding them to crud. Man, are y'all even going to make it to my cutters? I almost feel like I'm wasting my ammo in my crossbow now. All right, let's get up here, take that. Do a T for take all. Man, I'm so glad there's a take all. How many charges we got left? 75? Not too bad. Uh, can I get him? The question is, if I get him, could I even go uh, scrap his stuff? I don't see anybody coming yet. Ah, he's way too far away. All right. Yoo-hoo, zombie hordes, where are you? A couple of zombies showed up, just a couple of individuals, went on and took them out with my crossbow. Be my luck, I'll be out here messing around and they'll like come a different direction. But the other two came from over here, so it looks like that's gonna be the direction for most of our stuff anyway. Another single zombie, come here, buddy. All right, so I'm out here messing around and it looks like the horde's coming. I think I'm gonna get back in my base before I push my luck a little bit too much. I actually got my timing off and got my butt kick, kind of sort of kicked by one of the dudes who ran out here. But this looks like a fairly, they're just trickling in at the moment, which is fine. That's always fine. I guess my question is, are they even going to make it? Oh, 
I don't have... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. If anybody gets through, I can tangle them with the kukri. I didn't want to go back and get branches and uh, uh, iron just to make a bunch more bolts. There's a special over there. Actually, it seems like it's going pretty, pretty quiet. So let's grab, first one is wood. Let's grab some branches and let's grab some pieces of iron. Make sure that nothing is coming. Um, there we go. 35 of them is fine. I do want to go out and get these bags. Take all that. Where are you going? Hey, 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 I'm over here. Don't make me run. Make sure nobody else is coming. Don't make me run for your body. Let's run out here and get these. And I grabbed what was down on the ground. It looks like, looks like the second wave may finally be coming. Man, they still have not made it past the shredders. Those shredders are out there doing work. Let's go on and reload these guys. They are getting low on ammo. Oh, get wrecked, punk. Get wrecked. So, is this just going to be another AFK night? Am I building my base just a little bit too too well right now? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows what it shall bring? Of course, it's going to get so it's going to get so much worse. So much worse. Get freaking wrecked, punks. Um, I do want that loot, but I don't want to get caught up in my stuff. That was definitely not the second wave right there. That was definitely not the second wave, but this will give us a chance to go out here and get all of this loot. So we'll do a take all. Make sure nothing is coming. We've got a whole bunch of stuff over here that's falling off. So we'll take that. We'll take that. And I believe I left a bag out here somewhere. I guess I picked it up or it despawned. One of the two. Anyway, we're still waiting on the second wave. So when it starts, I will be back with you. All right, boys and girls. And the music has faded off. And that was it that was a really really easy horde night i'm not sure if it's because i got a couple of shredders out here or what that was but geez that was easy they didn't even make it past the freaking shredders man shredders go brr i guess that's a, that's gonna be the title for our episode all right guys well i appreciate you showing up i appreciate you watching remember if you like what you see if you like what you saw hit that big red subscribe button we will be back for episode six. We are going to continue working on our base. In fact, this base design right here may just be night four, to tell you the truth. I don't think I, I may put a cutter right there, but I think this is it, at least for right now, until we bust this down and, and create something new. So, all right, guys, I appreciate it. I will see you in episode five. You guys stay safe. I love you. Have a good one.